for our first video, we're going to be using World Machine to generate the landscape we want to create in Unreal Engine 4. If you do not have World Machine, the description or the download will be in the description below. So to start, you when you open up World Machine, you will have this screen. Me personally, I like to have a side-by-side -side arrangement, however, because when the world is generated, you'll be able to see it right here and be able to pan around. So, first, I'm going to go in the generator and grab Advanced Perlin Noise. This will immediately generate a landscape, as you can see. In Advanced Perlin, if you double tap or double click, you'll see a couple features here. At the moment, all you really need to do is pick one of these guys. Sharp Ridged is what I used to create my landscape in the beginning, so it's what we'll be using for this tutorial. So with that, we're going to hit Close. The next step is we're going to go up here to Project, in the Project Settings. Now Unreal Engine has specific resolutions that work well for its maps. Thankfully, World Machine has a UE4 landscape setting in which you can select preset resolutions. This is the highest resolution you can pick on the free version of World Machine. So that's what we're going to select here. Let's hit OK. As you can see, the resolution is up a little bit. Let's go back out. Next thing we're going to want to do is if you look here, it doesn't look very natural. Everything's pretty jagged. What we'll do to fix that is go to natural and select erosion. Where is erosion? Right here. Select erosion. We're going to take the primary output, the height field, and put it in the primary input of erosion. Now when we click erosion, you can see a drastic difference versus how it is regularly and how it is with erosion. Of course with erosion it looks quite a lot more natural. Me personally, I like a lot of erosion, so I'm going to set it to 130. And I think that looks pretty good right there. If you want more flatlands, then of course you want to pull it up further. And it's a lot more flat with a lot less jagged edges. And of course, 130 suits me fine. Next thing we're going to add to make it seem a little bit more natural is thermal weathering. I'm going to take the primary output, of course, like last time, and put it into the primary input of thermal weathering. Click on thermal weathering. If you notice, it just adds quite a bit more sediment deposits near the near the ridge lines. Again, makes it look a little bit more natural and makes the bottoms of these slopes a little more gentle. Of course, you can play with these settings however you like. Me, I'm just going to leave them as it is. Next, what you're going to want to create, or what you're going to want to put, is an output, and we're going to use a tool called Scene View. Scene view, what it does is it allows you to see your current landscape and how it's all set up with textures and everything. So we're going to hit primary output and put in primary input. Now if we go to scene view, nothing's changed. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go to macros up here, down to texturing, and select quick texture. Then I'm going to put primary output into primary input and then texture output in texture input. You see it creates a texture map for our world and out here you'll see our map is now textured. Now we're not going to be using these textures for Unreal Engine however it is useful for what you'll see in a moment. So I'm going to change this, click on it again, to Alpine Highlands, just for my personal preference. And let's click on Scene View again. I think that looks very nice. Next, 
we're going to go to output and we're going to select height output. We're going to make four of these. This is what we're going to be using to generate the height maps we're going to be needing to create our landscape in Unreal Engine. This one we're going to name dirt output. And I'm actually going to name it dirt output one. And this one, grass output one. And this is just due to a previous project I have using similar names. Rock output one. And we'll just leave this one as height output. Next, we're going to go to selector. And we're going to want to select slope. And we're going to want to do three of those. Now these selectors are really cool. You can use them all sorts of ways. Now this way, we're going to be using it to select the slope. And based on the slope of the landscape, we're going to apply a texture to it. If you want snow-capped mountains, you can select height, and everything above a certain height, you can cover in snow. So, what we're going to do here, primary output, primary input, output, input, oh, put that back, out, output, and input. And then, I'm going to connect these all up. Perfect. So now when you click on these, you'll see height maps. However, they're all the same. So with these slopes, in order to select a different height, what we're going to do is click on here. And for example, for dirt, we really only want dirt on, let's say we want, let's go 8 to 25%. Actually, let's go with 33. For grass, we want grass only at about 8. And of course, we're gonna, we might have to change this, and I'll show you how we judge by that in a second. And let's hit close. Let's select grass. So, as you can see, all these white areas in the map will now be grass. So, we quick, t quick texture. We can compare it, and that looks like it lines up pretty well with the grass on the quick texture map. So, next we're going to do the rock. So we had this one at max, and we're going to set this one at 33 again. So let's click, click quick texture and quick, click rocks. As you can see, it's a little bit low. So we're going to select rock output and bring this up to 45. We're going to hit close. And if you look, it matches up to the rocks pretty well. The last thing we're going to do is take height output, place it right there. Then you're going to hit build world. It, it'll, of course, it'll build it all. And we'll select these. Double click. You're going to want these ones to be PNG, 16-bit. And then I'm going to write these to disk. Now this last one right here, we're going to want this one to be raw 16-bit. i going to select it and right to disk. Now if we go into File Explorer, let me quick open up my World Machine files. You should be under Documents and World Machine. You'll see we have our dirt maps. all the maps we're going to be using. 
And that is it for this video. In the next video, we'll show you how to import these directly in to Unreal Engine.